Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We've got Glossy Box for November. I guess I shouldn't show my address. Um, glossy Box is $21 a month. And I think you usually get about like five products in there. Um, glossy Box is one I go back and forth on and I had decided, I think like a month ago, I was gonna just go ahead and get it for the rest of the year. And then I was gonna decide at the end of the year. So, I don't know, every time I'm like, mm, maybe not. And then I decide, mm, maybe so, so, I don't know. But, so, Glossy Box, let's see. Woohoo, $100 wine voucher. Yay. Those always crack me up. I get those all the time in different packages and stuff. This is what the box looks like, really cute. Super cute fall box, the leaves and stuff, really pretty. I love all the boxes. They're so cute when they do the specialty boxes. Um, I'll link the information below if you're interested in Glossy Box, want to check it out or anything. And they also have an advent calendar. That's that's okay. I like the Look Fantastic one better, but um, Glossy Box's specialty boxes are usually really good. So I think they're going to have like a holiday specialty box. So I'm going to get that when it comes out. So I'd keep my eye out for that. They're always packaged so pretty. So when you take the lid off, this is what you see. It's always like wrapped up. I always want to save these ribbons. I just don't know what to do with them. And then this is the box. Did we not get a card? Yeah, they forgot the, the usually there's like a little booklet. I'll show you my last months because I think I still have my last months in here. Usually they give you, um, is that it? Like a booklet like this, and it has like everything in it, and then you open it up and it talks about all the products and the price and stuff, but apparently they didn't do that this month. Either that or they just forgot mine. So, well, all right, we'll just wing it. Okay, so the first thing we have here is this eyeshadow palette. It's Style London Velvet Touch, and it already is like a little dirty. This is what it looks like. I love these colors. It's kind of hard to see. The pinks and burgundies and stuff, but I probably won't use this. See, it looks like it was coming off a little over there. I'm not gonna open though. I'm just gonna keep it sealed. Um, what is shaking in there? Something is, oh, I think the eyeshadow, like it's not stuck into the compartment. Well, I mean the eyeshadows are, but the whole pieces. Okay, so there's that. Have no idea what it priced at because, again, they didn't give me a thing. Next thing we have is Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel for instant, instantly smoother, brighter, softer skin. Did it say skin? Yeah, I've had something like this for your face. Let's see, it's a peel, clear gel, um... Peel upper half of your face and then start over and peel lower half of your face. What? Spread gel thinly over damp skin with damp hands, perhaps in the shower, as a small amount of water is required to proper activation, properly activate. Um, immediately begin massaging the entire, entire area in a circular motion. Apply light to medium pressure to ensure proper contact, but do not rub your skin. Well, then how? Okay. Within 10 to 20 seconds, solids will form under your fingertips. The solids you feel are a com combination of the peel and the epidermal tissue. The peel is applied as a gel and removed as a small solids. After having combined with the dead tissue, massage for two to three minutes to ensure that all of the product has combined with as much dead skin as possible and that no peel has been wasted. Wash face, rinse, and begin second half of face peel once per week for normal skin or as often as three times a week to prevent acne. That's kind of cool. I've, I think I've tried this before, but it was little. It was like a tiny little thing. Because I, I remember that. I faintly remember it. So that's kind of cool. We got that. Next thing, what is this? Mystic Black Novex Deep Hair Mask. Free of parabens. Petrolamitan silicones sulfates. I don't know, this is what it looks like. It, it reminds me of the, the container for, um, you know, like Noxema. <laughs> and it is a mess. It is like all over the place. It smells like a, it does smell like a hair mask. 
it's like someone opened it up or something. I don't know. It has bo boa bob oil. Uh, boa bob oil stands out for its moisturizing action and amazing emollient power. Ideal for all hair types. Apply slightly wet hair, massage, leave for three minutes, and rinse out. So there's a hair mask. And do we only get four products? No. Okay, there's another one. Okay, so then we have a Lord and Berry Cran Lipstick, which I know I'm not going to use. I'm not even going to swatch it. This is what it looks like. And then last is something that I'm always ha Ooh, see, I'm excited about this. It's Ardell Wispies Fiber Building Mascara. I didn't even know Ardell made Wispies. Ardell's the one that makes the, uh, let me see if I have some. They make the um, eyelashes, or they make eyelashes, and they're not super expensive, and I like them. Um, so I'm excited, and the color is jet black. You can see, well, take my word for it. It's there. <laughs> I'm excited. Ooh, what a cute package. That's really nice, too. I like that. And then I'm not going to open it up, but it says Hourglass Wand. Since it has the wand right there, I'm not going to open it up. Just because, you know, and keep it. So that's cool. Um, honestly, this is the only product I'm really happy about. So is that worth $21? I wonder how much the Ardell, let's look it up. I wonder how much it's actually, the Ardell um, mascara is worth. I don't like it, does it have the booklet in it? They always have like a booklet. So you can see, it like talks about the products, gives you tips, and then it turns around and like tells you the prices and stuff like that. Maybe they have, hmm. Let's look up, sorry. I'm, on the tablet and it's a little can get a little slow okay so let's look up Google I probably should just pause this huh nah we'll just talk <laughs> okay Ardell Wispies oops Wispies uh, mascara and you can get Ardell at like I think you can get it at Ulta probably, but I know you can get it at Walmart, Target, you know, which is kind of cool. I like them too. So the Arbidel Wispies Fiber Fiber Build Mascara is $8.99. So I'm super interested in how good this is. And that's showing at Ulta or $8.90 at Ardell Beauty. Okay, so $8.99. Let's look up this mask. Novex Mystic black mystic black it's so hard to see pear mask it's so hard to see because some of the letters are so small on this thing and i i'm usually okay so novex hair 7.99 target 7.19 so you get it for like seven bucks so this one's like nine bucks this is seven bucks okay let's look up this real chemistry might as well look them all up real chemistry peel I think this is good though because I've yeah it looks like full size like $63 so this is a good product it's got four stars for seven seventy two thousand six hundred sixteen 16 reviews four stars that's pretty good I'm gonna definitely try that again um, see on here it says birch box they have it for $25 I don't know what size but then everywhere else it's like more expensive so it's probably the size wise. So that's good. That seems like a good product. Um, what's this? Lord and Berry Crayon Stick. Lord and Berry. Whoops. I wrote, I typed in Lord F Berry instead of, like the letter F, not, you know. I'm not used to, I'm seriously not used to the tablet. Uh, what did I call it? Crayon? Crayon lipstick. Oh, two zero one zero zero. Maximate. Maximite. So oh, this is like ten dollars. Although they have one, no, it's a different one for five dollars at Walmart. Nine dollars. Yeah, it's about nine bucks. 
nine ten bucks now I don't know if this is full sized or not though so I'm not sure I mean I would think it is because it's just a crayon lip thingy okay and now let me look at this style London never even heard of this one style London velvet touch I mean it sounds nice Hypnotic eyes. Um, I don't even see it. Okay, there we go. Oh. Yeah, I'm not even seeing it. I see it on here, but I'm not seeing it. Like, it's not popping up. It's not popping up, like, with prices. Oh, my cat sees something. I... <laughs> See, no, this is different. See, there's one that's a little different, but it's just a review. Yeah, maybe this is like a glossy box thing because I'm not really, like I can find a picture of it. Oh, let's go to Style London Con Cosmetics. Maybe that would work, Michelle. Oh, okay, so on their website, it says 15 pounds in UK. So that's like for every pound it's like a dollar and 29 so that's kind of pricey for this little thing I do have to say I don't I don't know if I'd pay that I mean it could be great though but it's I would try it if it wasn't colors that I already have but I already have these so um, now I'm really curious I don't know if any of you have heard of this and have tried it let me know the like how it is because I kind of want to try it but I don't want to swatch it because um, like I said I already have lots of other palettes and I have those colors so I know I won't use it all right so that is it that is my glossy box um kind of disappointing I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this again and I am excited about the mascara but it's a nine dollar mascara so you know I could have just bought it I probably would have bought it if I would have seen it if I would have realized they even had a mascara I definitely would have tried it because I'm always down to try mascara but yeah so this month I've, it's kind of eh, for me but I could be wrong. I mean, do you guys think it's worth the $21? Um, I just don't really think it's worth $21. I don't know. But then again, you get your value too. So I'm not trying to like complain or, you know, because I definitely got my value. I just don't know if the products are things that I want. So I guess we'll find out next month and we'll see. And if that's the thing, if December is like the best box ever, then I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to try it for three more months. If it's horrible though, or if it's, not horrible, but it's just not like mm, like the greatest thing. Then I'll probably just move on and um, cancel it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of, I got to think on it. I always second guess myself. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you for watching my video today. And sorry it wasn't more exciting. But, you know, um, yeah, have a beautiful day.